Welcome back guys. So today I'm here with Eunice again. Okay, I also got this drawstring bag branded Eunice along with the box. This is great for storage. All right, so let's get into what we got inside. So it says cannot de be defined. That's what's like written here in the box that I'm not sure if you can see but and then I'm seeing the wig which we're gonna get into I also got this bag with goodies I love listen I love their packaging it's like you can tell it's of great quality it's a very sturdy strong box you can use this box for storage too okay it's so nice yeah I've been working with units for a long time I can tell you this is my favorite packaging that they've had so far so in the goodie bag, I got this branded Eunice headband, elastic headband. I also got a pair of HD wig caps. Okay, I got one of these the, the other day. It's giving Barbie some pink press-ons. says two minute DIY nail package. So if you like you some pink nails, this is cute. All right, and there's some like, I, I guess this is probably yeah, I think this is some uni stickers. So cute. So I got two of those. So this is the wig we're working with today. It's a gorgeous 24 inch curly uh, wig. All right. But what's so special about this today is that it's another beautiful wear and go wig. This is a 7 by 5 pre cut, pre plucked, pre bleach, pre baby haired. <laughs> no, but it is all customized for you before you even get the wig. You don't have to do anything. This is a 7 by 5 lace closure. As I said, it's pre-cut and it's pre-plucked at the same time. So very natural. Um, it's a 7 by 5 so you know you have a, a larger space to work with. You could do a side part. You could do a center part. You know, it's very versatile. And you can see that it's definitely bleached. All right. Um, they regard this one as the invisible knot. It's the bye-bye 7 by 5 invisible knot wig all right so you know they try their best to make it as realistic and just undetectable where the lace is concerned you see how much that looks like scalp and they did pre swoops like baby hairs you know um they really try their best to make you know their wigs so convenient for you guys so i love that and yes as i say you could part this anywhere you like and you could get a nice deep side part with it inside of the cap looks like this it has a total of three combs to undersize one in the back and then they have the non-slip area on the cap itself then there is this adjustable strap which you know you can help to make the wig tighter or looser on your head <laughs> and this really helps guys this is what really helps with keeping the wig super secure on your head and allowing you to wear it glueless so now that I show you how the wig looks, let me go ahead and slip this on. Okay, so I know sometimes when I get the pre baby hairs, I usually have to move it further away because sometimes it's a little too close for my head. But so far, the lace portion is sitting really nicely on my head. I'm gonna go ahead and redo these swoops though so let's just go ahead and get into that i'm gonna move it further apart so yeah and if you don't want you could definitely go ahead and feel free to comb it outside of like just brush it back if you don't want any soups but before i do any of that you realize there's a little bit of cast um with the lace portion so you can feel free to go ahead and use foundation use powder and help have it match your skin tone even better so what i'm gonna do is get my powder and i'm gonna kind of take it back off my head and show you guys me just tapping some of my powder onto the very lace so here is the wig i'm just gonna take my brush with some powder and i'm just gonna tap it on to the hairline portion of the lace 
so this way it can help it to look less casty and just blend even better with my hairline and I don't always like to use foundation because sometimes it's just like too heavy on the lace and I don't want it to have that much product I find that powder is just way it feels lighter it feels better on the hairline so I opt to use powder instead of foundation so now it doesn't look casty at all it looks really nice and well blended and then I also started to move the uh, swoops further apart so I'm just kind of you know finessing it further away from my feet from the mid portion I like to go in with my elastic band to further press the lace in even after I apply some powder that way it just really blends down with the hairline and I love that you know what I also love I love the fact that the way they constructed the hairline portion of the lace closure it really hugs your hairline you know it doesn't look like it's it just fits it perfectly so I really like that vibe so that right there will just help it to really blend down with my hairline and really just press it in. So I'm going to move on. Oh my gosh, these curls look so good. They feel so soft. So this is how we're looking. I'm going to go ahead and part it in different areas so you guys see that you could definitely get different partings with this wig. So if you want, you could go ahead and get a nice deep side part i wonder if i should do a nice deep side part instead of uh, it was just in a center part so you guys already seen it in a center part you know that's the default part that comes with it but i feel like this would be so cute if i do a side part so you see they're making these closure wigs so versatile like you don't have to just feel confined to one parting and you're getting more for your money so I'm just gonna take my wax stick I'm gonna get my hot comb as well and I'm just gonna get this nice and you know flat at the area that I parted and I also want to wet this up before I go ahead and remove the band so just you know define the curls even more but so far this is so gorgeous you could go ahead and wrap this in its dry state as well but i'm just gonna apply water so that it dries up it dries down fast because i want to keep the volume So that's to show you the shedding it's on a minimal level and you know that with curly textures if you do not detangle on a daily or ensure that you know at least yeah detangle you will have it get matted you don't want that so you know so far though for the initial install the shedding isn't too bad but I recommend once you're gonna be wearing curly a curly texture for a prolonged period that you should always try to detangle it like every day once you're wearing it. So those curls look so good. That looks so good. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the elastic band. It definitely helps. It definitely see no product. No product. Just so you know, in case you guys were wondering, yeah. No product, I really just wanted it to press down in to my hairline and the hair is still nice and full. Ooh, this looks 
so good and it's gonna bounce back up in no time one thing i forgot to show you guys was how secure this wig is also on your head so you don't have to be scared because it's a wear and go a slip on and go a glueless wig it's very secure because as i show you it has combs it has an elastic band and it has the non-slip area on the cap so let's do the shake test to verify that it is secure okay So you see, it's definitely not going anywhere. All specifications will be listed once more, so you guys can go ahead and check that out. Shout out to Eunice for another bomb wig. If there's any promotion going on, you know, there's Black Friday coming up, so you know, a lot of deals, a lot of discounts and stuff. If I have a discount code, well, it will definitely be listed, all right? You guys know I got your back, all right? I'm always looking out for you. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today's wig look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much. Shout out to Eunice once more, and that's it for today's week. Look, guys, I'll see you in my next video. Okay, bye.